What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Friday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. And this podcast being brought to you by OmaStakes.com. Guys, Father's Day is this weekend. Okay, it's Sunday. You got like hours to go and go to OmahaStakes.com and place an order. Maybe you can go, hey, Dad, I bought it for you. It won't get here for a couple of days, but I took care of you. I I remembered Father's Day. It's going to arrive a bit late. Go to OmahaStakes.com. Check out the Father's Day packages. They start at $99, $10 off with the code JUICE at checkout at OmahaStakes.com. All right, so an 0-2-1 night last night. We need to get going here, okay? So we push on the golf. We get... The hockey was dead wrong. 4-3 final. Whoa, what the? Skinner, yikes. Series over. Panthers, W, just like this basketball series. Over. Panthers, cup finals. Celtics. I mean, we'll talk more about that here in just one second. And then Red Sox, hammered Nola. What was that? My team killed Aaron Nola. Okay, surprising there. So... Win there for the Red Sox. 0-2 down about two units. 0-2-1 down two units on the day. So here we are on a Friday. Now, you guys remember, if you've been with us for a while, I would do a parlay on Friday where I give you like multiple bets. Well, look, I think the NBA season ends tonight. And so since it ends tonight, I'm going to go, I'm going to go heavy. I'm going to go all in here on this one basketball game. And I'm going to give you guys a multitude of plays for us to jump in on. Maybe I'm jumping off a cliff. Maybe I'm going to destroy the entire week. It's really possible. So I would be careful with all of this stuff. As I say, this is what I bet. You don't have to trail it. You can fade it. Do whatever you want with it. But this is a big card for game four of the NBA Finals. It's all I'm betting today is the NBA Finals. Okay? I've got three one-unit bets on this game. And I have four half-a-unit bets on props. So we're going to be glued. The other reason why I'm doing this is because I work for a company called Sports Grid, as well as betting pros and the Bostonian versus the book, and I've got a million jobs. Teach at UNLV, everything else. I work a lot. But I'm doing three and a half hours on Sports Grid <laughs> during this game. So I need a lot to talk about. I need a lot to watch to keep me entertained. So here's what we're doing today. Let's start with the game. The Boston Celtics are one win away from Banner 18. The Boston Celtics are 7-0 on the road here in these playoffs. The Boston Celtics are going to win here tonight. It's pick, minus 105. You can take the plus one if you want. I'm going to go ahead and take pick and less juice. It's plus, you can lay 110 and take plus one if you want. Or you can go pick at certain books and lay minus, minus 105. I'm going to lay minus 105 on this and just Boston to win the NBA championship here. Celtics, it makes up for the Mavericks plus one and a half games bet that we have made that we'll lose. So if the Celtics win here, we're good with that bet. First bet is Celtics money line. The second bet is, well, right back to the well again to the under. It's 211 and a half. I know it could get right up against this number. But I think Boston defensively in the fourth quarter is going to throw the clamps on. And I think there's a chance even early in the game that we can try to middle this like we did in game three. It's the same idea. We'll take under 211 and a half. Look for a number that's a 10 point middle or so. So our target is 201. If you see a 201, go ahead and fire it. You have a middle. Okay. In game three, what we did was. Some of you got 203 and a half. Some of you got 204 and a half. Some of you got 205 and a half. Two of those three numbers hit. It fell 205. Okay. So I will be in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. There is a DJ Picks channel. You should go subscribe to notifications on that channel. I will tell you when I am firing and what number I'm going to fire. But the goal here is to try to middle it. Okay. Under 211 and a half. We're gunning for 201 to go over that, and hopefully the game falls somewhere in between, and we can wind up catching both bets. So, Celtics money line, minus 105. Under 211.5, minus 110. And the third bet is a little bit of a flyer, but I think there's a decent shot. This is a blowout. 
I think this could be a demoralized Dallas Mavericks team coming in, and I don't really know if they really care about the series anymore. I know people think I'm crazy for that, but Boston team total is 105.5 for the game. I bet it. Celtics team total over 105.5. I think there's a decent shot. This is like a 107.98 type final. Celtics haven't given up 100 points yet to Dallas. I don't think Dallas gets it in a closeout game. I think Dallas might be playing scrubs in the fourth quarter. This is getting ugly and gets away from them. Celtics are so good on the road. Dallas is an under team at home. I think Boston just throws the clamps down. I don't think Dallas scores all that much. I think Boston wins. I think the 105.5 is live. Celtics team total over 105.5, which is a bit of a, a, a weird statement because I bet the under, right? But I just think Boston has a really good shot of scoring a bunch of points here tonight and doing some big things. And, and, and Banner 18 being one here tonight, and I think it's a really good opportunity for Boston to close it out and don't play around. Don't let this thing get back to Boston for Game 5. Celtics are 64-18, and 18, by the way. If they win this game, they'll be 65-18. and 18. They will join a very elite company of NBA basketball teams without 20 losses in the regular and playoffs combined. It's a ridiculous run. It's an absolutely ridiculous run. And Porzingis is questionable, by the way. He may try to play. <laughs> Porzingis plays. I mean, Boston has scored 107, 105, 106. Okay? So we are 2-1 and one to this over 105 and a half. It may come right down to it, but 89, 98, 99. Boston has yet to give up 100 points scoring so far this in these playoffs to the Mavericks. I don't think Maver the Mavericks get it here tonight. I think Boston wins. Money line for one unit, minus 105. Boston team total over 105.5 and a half at minus 110. And under 211 and a half also at minus 110. Four player props. We're going back to Sam Hauser. I think this guy plays a ton. Now, I will say this. If you guys get up and Porzingis is going to play, no on Sam Hauser. Okay? I played it because I don't think Porzingis is playing. What's the point? Like, list them as questionable. Make Dallas think. There's no point in playing Porzingis. Okay? None. Maybe for like two or three minutes in the game when it's over or something and get him on the, the, you know, the stat sheet or something. But be very surprised. if Now, game five, different story. But game four, come on. They can beat Dallas without Porzingis. But if Porzingis plays, this kills this prop because really the minutes that Porzingis kills is Hauser's and Pritchard's. Without Porzingis, Sam Hauser over one and a half made threes. That is plus 105. It was plus 124 last time. Now it's plus 105. He hit three in game three. Let's get two in game four. Sam Hauser over, over for Sam Hauser. One and a half made threes. Second bet, Jason Tatum under rebounds. Look, Tatum will do everything possible, okay? But I think as Tatum goes, he's going to look to score and get to the foul line. I'm not sure how much he's going to look to rebound. He had six rebounds in the last game, 31 points, six boards. He had nine rebounds in game two. He had 11 rebounds in game one. His total is nine and a half. I'm going to take a shot here and going nine or under for Jason Tatum rebounding wise. It's plus 105. It's plus money. I think he's a scorer more. I think he's a passer more. Not sure how much rebounding Jason Tatum is going to do here tonight. Tatum under nine and a half rebounds at plus 105. All these prop bets, by the way, are half a unit. So half a unit on Hauser over one and a half threes. Half a unit on, Justin, uh, on Jason Tatum under nine and a half rebounds. Luka Doncic. Over three and a half made threes. He can't move, but he can shoot. I don't think Luka goes quietly. Okay, I don't think Luka goes out like and gets destroyed and it doesn't have a big game of some sort. I expect Luka to try to bounce back from what happened in game three and all the massive amounts of criticism he's taken for the comments, the whining, get fouling out of the game, all of that. I do expect Luka to be pretty good tonight. Luka over three and a half made threes is minus 122. So bet that to win a half a unit. And Kyrie Irving was great in game four, or sorry, game three. I don't think he'll be great in game four. I think Boston will focus on him more, look to take away 
his driving ability and make him shoot jump shots where he hit a few jump shots in game three, but overall in the series, he has not been good. And he goes back to that version of Kyrie under 24 and a half points for Kyrie Irving. That also at that minus 105, bet that for a half a unit. Okay, so four props, half a unit on each. Sam Hauser over one and a half made threes, plus 105. Jason Tatum under nine and a half rebounds, plus 105. Luka Doncic over three and a half made threes at minus 122. Kyrie Irving under 24 and a half points at minus 105. Those are half unit plays to win, bet to win a half a unit. And then the full unit plays Celtics money line minus 105 under 211 and a half minus 110 Celtics team total over 105 and a half that also at minus 110. My name is Matt Peralt. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. Daily Juice podcast always being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com.